Hello, everybody, and welcome back to my channel. I have a special message for everybody here today, and I feel the need that to have a little heart to heart with my viewers and to those um, that are not necessarily my viewers for my highest good or your highest good that lurk around and monitor everything that I'm doing. This message is also for you. And I just want everyone to know that, uh, you know, when I created this channel a couple of years ago, the purpose of this channel was it was for me to relay messages and to really to support and guide my clients at the time that I had, um, I was blossoming in the DC metropolitan area and to help my clients work through, you know, their, their ascension path, their spiritual journey. And I was saying a lot of things repeatedly in spirit circles and in sessions, and I felt the need to broaden my reach. And so I created this channel years ago where I would just come on periodically and I would share my wisdom, share sessions that I was having um, with people and the repeated patterns that I was seeing. And I really, truly the purpose and intention was to spread awareness and to just guide the community that I was, um, that I was really feeling strongly that I was um, a part of something bigger uh, that was brewing, um, you know, with my clients and with, uh, with contacts that I was making um, with other truthers and, and other uh, spiritual leaders within the community. And so, you know, over time, what happened was I started to go on interviews and I would um, get, put myself on other people's channels and I would interview and talk about what I was doing and the work that I was doing with children and the, um, the back then it was the divinely guided uh, children uh, metaphysical center that I was opening and my books. And I was talking about all of that. And for divine purposes, I believe that it, you know, it caused a ripple effect and I was invited on even more channels. And I, I really was reaching a lot of parents and a lot of people throughout the world that really needed to hear the things that I was saying about children, about star seeds, and just about, you know, hu humanity at large, and what we're going through as a collective. You know, and so I started to bring guests on my channel, and invited more and, and I and I went out of my comfort zone, because not only do I not particularly enjoy being in the spotlight, you know, I, I'm not one of those that really wants to be famous. <laughs> I prefer to be in my little bubble with my family. And um, when I'm not, you know, working, I'm not on, you know, I like to be invisible um, and I'm quite introverted and, and shy. And those of you that really know who I, who I am know that that's how I, that's how I operate on a day to day. You know, I try to be the best version of myself. I try to be kind and genuine to as many people as I meet. I try to help as many people as I can. Oftentimes I put myself last because I'm putting everybody else first. And, it, and it's hard being an empath. It's hard being a star seed. It's hard uh, trying to be a spiritual leader, especially when you are up against many people who aren't ready to hear the information that you have and they don't follow the advice that you give them and you feel like you're circling and it's exhausting sometimes. And so for me to put myself out there more and invite um, others on my channel and interview them was a whole other area of comfort that I was <laughs> not really um, seeking out to do. It wasn't, it wasn't part of my purpose, I, I thought, in, initially, uh, was to create a podcast. And, and and I don't really feel like I have a podcast. I think I've just, over time, started to invite people that are like-minded, at least I thought were, so that they could share their guidance and we can help raise more awareness and help outreach <clears throat> more people all over the world by sharing um, and collaborating because that's how I work. I like to collaborate. I like to share. I don't take ownership over things. And so, um, you know, unfortunately today I'm bringing you this message because I've had to reevaluate almost everything that I'm doing and things have been happening and, and things have been done to me and things have been said that have um, made me take a pause and um, I'm shifting things around. So my channel is, is, is going to go undergo some some renovations, so to speak. But before I get there, I just want everyone to know, whoever's watching this, you know, I cannot be bought. I am not owned by anybody. I will not be handled. Nobody tells me what to do. You know, my husband can't even tell me what to do. So there's nobody out there in the community that is telling me how to run my business, 
for what to do or what to say to children or how to work with children. I am a sovereign being. And I, you know, don't mistake kindness for weakness. Just because I'm a kind person doesn't mean that I'm strong. Isn't That doesn't mean that I'm not strong. You know, that shadow side I put away a long time ago because I went through a lot of traumas and I was hurt a lot by many people throughout my life. And I was, I, <clears throat> I let that shadow side take over me for a while. And um, I was ready to fight anybody that wanted to fight me. And I was going to hurt anybody before they hurt me. And I've evolved and I've grown into a, a strong woman. And I have my children to thank for that. I have my family's support to thank for that. I have my husband to thank for that. And I have myself because I put a lot of energy and effort into being the best version of myself every single day. And some days are harder than others. Sometimes we fail. Sometimes I've, I've gotten it wrong. Sometimes I've invited someone on the channel and I realize later, oh my gosh, what have I done? So we all make mistakes. And I just so happen to be living out my discernment publicly. You know, that's not fun for anybody. So all of you out there that is learning discernment, imagine being me trying to learn discernment when everybody is watching who I bring on the channel, who I associate with, who I talk to, who I recommend. And then if that person turns out not to be what I thought they were, then people look at me and say, oh, Sherry got it wrong, you know? And so I'm not perfect. But what I what I strive for is my ability to admit when I've made a mistake or admit when, um, you know, uh, people cloak themselves and to pretend that they're something when they're not. And when you're working and your agenda is to help children, which is what I am here to do, there are a lot of people out there, despite what you would think, and many won't believe me, but there are a lot of people that don't want me to do what I'm doing. They don't want me to help children. They don't want us to guide the starseeds. They want the starseeds to become lost and dim and programmed and indoctrinated. And anybody that's going to resist that agenda or or push something better, far better for the community and for the children at large, they're gonna do everything they can to ensure that those people don't do it however they can. They will attack you through your friends and family. They will attack you monetarily, physically, energetically, any way that they can. It happens all the time. But I'm gonna tell you that that shadow side is in check of mine, but I am not weak. I'm not weak-minded. I cannot be manipulated. I will not be strong-armed. I don't care about fame. I don't care about how many subscribers that I have. I would much rather have a small group of subscribers that genuinely care and back what I'm doing for the right reasons than have hundreds of thousands of subscribers full of trolls, haters, those that are trying to stop what I'm doing, those that are trying to come on my channel and infiltrate, you know, I'm on to you. So that brings me to the next part of this, this message today. I'm going to change my channel. If you see videos deleted, if you see things that are different, that's for a reason. Every single move I make is calculated, it may not make sense to everybody. And it doesn't mean that if I deleted someone's video, it means that they're bad. I'm not saying that I'm not going to tell you the list of people that I don't trust and who I do trust. That's not for me. That's not my burden to bear. It's not my responsibility to share with you because it's all in everyone's perception. Everybody is on their own path and they're trying to figure things out for themselves. Somebody that may do me wrong might not do someone else wrong. So it's not for me to share with you those that have harmed me or wish me well and did the exact opposite. I'm not going to do that. That's not... That's not what I'm about. So what I am going to do is I'm going to weed those subscribers out that have an alternative agenda, that don't care about the children, that are trying to handle me, that are trying to persuade me, trying to dangle things in front of me to attract me or distract me. I'm not going to be owned. I will not be bought. I'm a strong woman. I have a mission here to help children and I will not be stopped. And so I will change the trajectory of this channel back to its original intent. And I'm going to start to do my own broadcasts 
And if people are interested in what I have to say, they are welcome to be on the channel. If you have uplifting comments <clears throat> and support that you would like to give or share, that's welcome. If you don't have any, you're not in resonance or in alignment with what I'm about or what I do or what I want to do or what I'm working towards, I respectfully ask that you leave the channel and go somewhere else. I'm not trying to fight anybody. I'm not going to debate anyone. That's not what I'm about either. But I, again, do not mistake kindness for weakness. I am not weak. I am focused on what it is that I am here to do. And that is all. I don't, I'm not interested in making friends or fame. The right friends will come to me in the divine timing that's necessary for the progression of Aramis Creative Learning Center and my evolution, my family's evolution, it will happen naturally. I don't need to pay people to be my friend. <clears throat> I don't need to do things to make people like me. If you don't like me already, that's okay. That's all right. I don't, I'm not one of those people that needs everybody to like me. I don't want that. I don't want any fake people around me. Um, not interested in that. You know, I've been through enough in my life. I'm done with the drama. So that being said, I will put out content, um, which I'll talk about in a second. Um, I will no longer be doing interviews on my channel. And if I do, it will be infrequent or it will be random. And what I mean by that is if someone comes into my life that I really feel, Listen, a couple of years ago, I said something in a couple of interviews that I, and I had to eat my words. So I admit that I made a mistake. And what I said was someone out there, actually there were more than, there was more than one person, but there was a few people out there a few years ago saying that 90% of the truthers, spiritual community, all of it, 90% were false light. And people should be careful who they're listening to. And at that time, perhaps this is part of my learning journey, because I truly want to feel like people have the best intentions. I want to believe that there is good in the world. I want to believe that people are good. So sometimes I give them the benefit of the doubt and I trust in them. And this is my lesson that I'm learning because I had to eat my words because years down the road, now here we are, 2023, and even probably six months ago, I had to say publicly, gosh, I was wrong because I don't listen to anybody anymore. I don't know. I'm not going to go that far, but there are far and few between people that can be trusted right now. And I believe that people get tempted by fame, money, popularity, subscribers. People want, they want the attention. It's about ego. And I'm just, if you like me or not, is irrelevant at this moment because what I'm telling anybody watching this right now, if you're going to follow anybody or listen to anybody, please close your eyes and listen with your heart. And if that person makes you feel empowered and uplifted and good and makes you want to do stuff for yourself and better yourself, then continue listening to them. But if there's any part of them that you feel like you have to, you are, you're drawn and you have to keep listening to them to get information because you can't get it for yourself or you have to follow them, this weird need that, that you feel like you're just hypnotized by them or you're not sure or you feel uncomfortable or anything that's not of your highest good, just reevaluate who, who it is that you're listening to. And sometimes you need to do that <clears throat> often, more often than you think. So I won't be bringing many people on my channel and that does not mean, and I don't want people to speculate, oh, who is she friends with, who is she isn't. That's not the point of this. This is in high school. I don't want side conversations in the comments about who am I friends with, who am I not. Again, it doesn't matter who I've deleted off the channel. That doesn't mean automatically that there's a reason for it. That's nefarious. I'm just reevaluating the direction I want to go and who I want, the, what energy I want to have on the channel. 
and I will be doing this over the next couple of weeks. So please don't look too far into that. But if you're wondering why I'm not having many guests on this on my channel anymore, it's because I am focused on a mission, getting information out, and periodically I will have someone on that I feel is in resonance with myself. And if at any point that changes, and because people change, some somebody could be of the light for for years, and then all of a sudden they get tempted by some sort of fame or fortune or whatever it may be. And then that person can turn just like that. So just because they're okay today doesn't mean that they're going to be, too, they, they may not be okay forever. I'm sorry to say that. I've learned the hard way too many times now. So speaking for myself only, and this is what I do. So you have to continuously reevaluate where the person is coming from, what they're saying, the tone in their voice, what they're trying to portray, what they're projecting, all of it. Just take all of it. And this is a good practice and a good learning experience for the collective right now on discernment and going within and trusting your gut and your knowing. Don't second guess that because I've done that recently where I second guess myself. And I and then I was wrong. And now I'm dealing with it. Um, and I'm not going to share the intimate details of how I'm dealing with it or what I'm dealing with, but just know that I'm dealing with it. And so I'm going to follow through on some commitments that I have made and others I might not. Um, some people might get mad at me and some people might handle it with maturity. I don't know. We'll see. But I'm going to put myself first. I'm going to prioritize my channel first, the children first, my children, my family first. And hopefully we can create a community with integrity, with divinity and unity, because I'm trying to do this with class, with my own dignity intact, with my own integrity and nothing else, no ego, putting ego aside, no resentment, no judgment. I don't even want to talk to some of the people that may have wronged me. I don't even care. I don't want to engage. I'm not going to engage with any of them. So I, I use me as an example, moving forward and who you accept into your life. Create boundaries. Relationships are really important right now. Um, it doesn't matter if it's through the screen, podcasters, neighbors new friends, old friends, family, doesn't matter. Use your discernment and go within and decide whether or not you can trust them at this point in time. And if they're not assisting you in your highest good, then perhaps it's time for you to create boundaries. I've said this a million times. It's not by forever, but it is by for right now. So it doesn't mean that if you're creating boundaries and separating yourself from certain people right now, does not mean that it will be forever? Maybe it will, but you have to put yourself first and decide I'm choosing myself first right now. I'm important. So I'm going to separate myself from X person, these people or this group until I can stand on my feet and I am trusting with 100% certainty within my discernment and my knowing that I am surrounded by those that truly want what's for my highest good and their highest good because it is a two-way street so you want to also honor the people that you're friends with treat them with respect and kindness um you know it's a two-way street so now that that's out of the way um i have a book coming out i'm actually very excited about it. i put all my heart and soul into this book and it's a much more it's a much more spiritually evolved version of myself. You know, it's it's three, four years ago when the first two came out, I was a different person. I've learned a lot since then. I've grown a lot since then. I've made tons of mistakes, but I've had lots, lots of success. <clears throat> and this is a mature version of myself that's shining through. And I have a powerful message to give to those that want to receive it, those that are open to it. And so this book is coming out within a week or so. It's just in the final phases of formatting and editing. So it's any it, re, very soon. And I will make an announcement when it's released. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to start a series called 3D Interference on my channel. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to do brief, shorter videos. And I'm going to go through segments of the book. And I'm going to talk about those different topics within 3D Interference. And I'm gonna, and my intention is to help guide people to raise their awareness on the things that are out there that are affecting us negatively or the challenges that we face. 
how we can combat them, how we can come out stronger and, and things that we can do to help ourselves and help each other. And so that's what I'm going to be focusing my energy on. We're taking a couple of breaks from children's classes because the teachers, the mentors have been working tirelessly for years without a break. And I've given them the summer to spend with their friends and family and take a break. So there are no classes being offered for the month of July and August. We will return September stronger and revived, energetic, and ready to expand on our classes. Um, but for right now, we're taking a break. And you might not see me as much. Maybe you will. Um, I'll go with within for myself and decide what channels that I want to represent my um, educational platform on. Um, I'll be very selective about that going forward as well. And so I encourage all of you um, with so much love and respect to take care of yourself, put yourself first. You know, the spiritual journey is it's not all love and light. You know, there are days that are harder than others. And there are days that you want to scream. And there are days you want to cry. And there's days you want to have a fit. And that's okay. If you need to act like a two-year-old and have a tantrum on the floor and scream and kick, you have to get the energy out. Whoever told people at one point that crying is bad um, was very wrong about that. It's okay to cry. We need outlets to get our frustrations out. Some days are really challenging. Some periods are really challenging. Maybe months go by, years are challenging. You know, some of us go through these dark nights of the souls more than once. So it is okay to cry, scream, kick, kick the pillow, whatever you need to do to get through it. You don't have to stand all proper all the time and pretty and put together. You know, that's that's not reality. And that's and I and I hope that that's not what people feel like the ascension is about. It's, it's ugly and dirty, but then there's beautiful periods of peace and euphoria and bliss. And then there's periods of just nothing. And, and it's just, you go with the ebb and the flow. As long as we're not comparing ourselves to everyone else and the speed in which their journey and their successes are, uh, we'll be just fine. We just have to stop comparing ourselves to other successes because someone else's success isn't necessarily the same as mine and so on. And so it's really going going within, standing in your power, finding your true purpose and your passion separate of everybody else and not caring so much what other people think and really, really use discernment and caution about who you allow into your life, who you allow through your phone, TV screen, what you watch, there's a lot of agendas out there, a lot of mind control, a lot of manipulation, a lot of truth, 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 oh, and then a sliver of a lie, and then truth, truth, truth. So you, they, you know, they hope they can sneak stuff in. You know, that's the time we're in. But it is what it is, um, and we can raise the consciousness. We can raise the light. We can raise the frequency by not giving up by standing in our power, projecting out our light and our compassion for everyone else that's going through similar things, some harder than us, some not as hard. It's not a contest. And that's how we stand together in unity and we help one another and we ask each other, hey, are you okay? Is there anything I can do to help you? Instead of saying, oh, did you hear what she said or he said? And starting the drama again. That's how we remain in this, in this energy. So step out of it. And we'll get through all of this, but we have to work together. And sometimes we got to close a few doors, but then miraculously in divine timing, doors you didn't even know were there will open for you. And people that you didn't even know were, you know, you never met before will walk into your life and you're like, gosh, where did you come? Where have you been all my life? That will happen. But in order to do that, we have to be diligent about who we trust and who we allow in our circle, in our life. Um, and if we make a mistake, it's, it's okay if you make a mistake. I made many, <laughs> but I get up off the ground and I keep on going and I don't give up because I always say to myself, I will not let them win. I am too strong. I'm too powerful. Um, and they're not going to get me. They're not going to get me down. You know, I just, I don't give up. And so keep whatever you can use an anchor point to keep you centered 
spiritually centered and grounded, whatever that may be. Could be your children, a parent, sibling, a spouse. Could be the tree in your backyard. I'm not kidding. It could be anything. It could be your pet. It could be your horse. Whatever it is that keeps you anchored and grounded, focus on that. Don't give your power away. And just reevaluate all the people that you're listening to and letting into your life. Um, and do that periodically. Don't get complacent, you know. That's when they get in. I'm sorry, I'm a little sick right now. I was holding that cough until the very end. I almost made it. <laughs> um, so I hope this message finds all of you well. Um Leave comments, positive ones. For those of you that uh, are not interested, you can unsubscribe. No harm, no foul. I won't be mad. And I'll be in touch with all of you soon. I will do my 3D interference series starting within the next week. And I think it's really going to help the collective um, focus their energy on um, just raising awareness um, and uh, shifting their energy to something more constructive. So with that, I hope this message is received well by all of you, and I will see you all very soon. Until then, bye, everybody.